Give me the highlights. Give me the bullet points. 2020 injury leading up to still have weakness now. 2020, I started going to the gym pretty regularly. I lost a ton of weight, like 40 pounds. I loved it. But as I kept going, I was going five or six days a week. It was all fine until towards the end of 2020. I started transitioning from more of a hit type workout to more weightlifting. And I wasn't trying to compete or anything. It was just fun. So I was really proud of my legs and leg press was a place where I could show that off and get some really crazy weights. So I hit a very, very high weight in the, le in the leg press, like 645s on either side. Yeah, I was on the leg press, wasn't ideal. I didn't adjust it properly. So I was putting a ton of strain on my lower back. And then the next day I went to a class and they had us on the bench uh, doing a bent over row. I pulled a 60 pulled it back and on the fourth one something just snapped in my back it was just like a blinding pain i finished out the workout because i was like five minutes left uh went home and then pretty much couldn't move for the next two weeks okay all right and so no imaging has been done to this point no, no imaging okay uh, but and you're currently under chiropractic care correct and your current symptoms are pain and weakness pain and weakness yeah, yeah. But you're back in the gym, you are lifting. Is the weight that you're doing now appreciable or do you have a, a denoted weakness? It really depends. After the fact, I worked with my trainer. So we worked for about six months and we got me up to a 200 pound Bulgarian for six reps on each leg. Mm -hmm. So like still sizable weights. Okay. But certain days I would be weak. Like we'd have to, it was supposed to be an eight week progression. It ended up being a 10 week because some weeks we just have to stop. Um, or switch to an upper body because my back was just acting up. All right, we're going to start off with some posture. We're going to stand up right there, stand up nice and straight, face this way. Okay, a little bit of a right head tilt, high left ear, so high left mastoid process, high left shoulder as well. Go to put your hands on your hips. High left shoulder, high left ear. Good, you just corrected the posture on that one. It's good. <laughs> good, let your hands drop now. High left hip, very left side dominant here. High left hip, high left shoulder, high left mastoid. Uh, let's check the arches. Good. Good. A little bit of a decreased arch on the left side, but mild to moderate. Looking at the Achilles tendon here, and just a little bit of bowing on the left only. Not really so much the right. So a little bit of pronation on the left. That's the side of the decreased arch. Go ahead and stand up nice and straight. Look straight ahead, and then close your eyes. Good, very stable. A little bit of lateral there. Okay, let's try this. Go ahead and open up again. Open up your eyes. March in place a little bit. And then uh, now stop. And then stand up nice and straight and close your eyes again. Everyone should wobble a little bit. Okay. okay. And then let's do it one more time. Open your eyes. Good. And then take a couple of marching steps. Good. And then close your eyes. Stand up nice and straight. Look straight ahead. Close your eyes. Okay, same initial off to the right. So I'm gonna call this category two. We have some lateral sway there. All right, let's see what's happening here. Good. All right, let's palpate the SI joints. You can clearly see the dimples there, so we know where the SI joints are. Good, any tenderness here? No. Does it feel like this over here? Nope, feels good. Do they both feel the same? Uh, right and left? I would say left feels a little bit more. Uh, tender? A little bit, yeah, a little more tender. Good. Not much though. Let's go to the lower SI here. How about here? Tenderness, left, right? No, same and neither. Same and neither, but left is more tender here, the upper SI? Yeah, it's definitely more tender that last time you did it. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay, let's push into the lumbar spine. Good. Good. Okay, there's a lot more tension here on the left side, for sure, left side of the lumbar spine. Never had any ridiculous pain. Never, never had any pain down the legs, right? No. But your pain is mostly in the middle. Uh, the pain, I would say go, it trends a little bit more left, but right. it's pretty close. All right, looking at the glute fibers here, we're going to see what's, see how the pelvis is uh, tilted. Okay, I'm going to touch the back of your hamstrings, okay? All right. You're going to feel my fingers slide up to the bottom of the glute folds. Actually, I'm going to have to slide down because you're in jeans. Good. <laughs> we're, in, we're lower on the right. Good, feet are even there. And then looking from the top, the right side is accentuated. Testing for hypertonicity here in the glutes. It's definitely more hypertonic on the right. But slightly, still normal. Still normal tone here. 
but either we've got a flaccid left glute or a hypertonic right glute. Possible P-I-E-X here, A-S-I-N here. We'll check again when you're laying down. Left short, that means the glute fold test was inaccurate, which doesn't happen a lot. Let's see, the rotation's here. Good, the pelvic ligaments are stable. Good, nice and gentle. Left short crosses over, becomes the long leg. Let's do that one more time. Still left short, gonna bend. Got the left short switches that points to the right SI joint, which makes no sense at all so far. That's good. Like something <laughs> complex here. Let's see if there's any restriction. Looks like right, right SI restriction from that test. Keeping your leg straight, lift this right leg in the air. Good. Left leg, down. Is one side more difficult than the other? Left. Down, left leg, down. Still, same? That one felt a little more even. So the left lumbar is normal, so it looks like a left SI joint issue. Okay, so this is a work, this is previously tender on seated. Is it still tender? Uh, yeah. Okay, and then this right one over here, is this one tender? Less so, but a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna push down into the L5. Tender? Yes. Tender? More so, yeah. Tender? Less so. Okay, more tender in the left L5. Let's go to L4. Let's see how that feels. Tender? Less so, but decently. Let's test the lumbar. Right or left, which is more tender? Left. How about this one, left or right? Still left. Left or right? Left or right? Uh, right, actually, a little bit more on this one. Right. All right, so that would mean that the L5 has rotated to the left, so we have a left anterior. Um, side of the sacral restriction is left, left sacral restriction, uh, left anterior rotation L5, so that matches in several different techniques. And then yours has gone to the left, and then it was uh, turned, spinous process was tender on the right, which means it's gone superior. So yours is, you have a rotation and a twist clockwise. So it's over to the side and clockwise. But really, this whole joint, uh, the whole SI joint and the whole hip is pulled down this way, and it's pulling the L5 this way. And then we're trying to compensate with that rotation here at the end. Gotcha. I right, push your legs out to the side against my hands. Good, push, push, and relax. All right, I'm gonna push back down into that hip again. Do you still feel that tenderness, tension? Uh, less so. All right, I'm gonna use this instrument. Does your chiropractor use one of these? Uh, not often, but sometimes. Okay, we're just gonna start loosening up the muscles here and some of this stuff around the hip. Now, I know it's just your back, but everything's connected. I'm going to adjust your neck today, too. We're going to do a ring dinger today. The decompression, obviously, is going to be a different element, different range of motion of adjustments that um, you're not getting. Your results will determine the, the efficiency of the treatment. All right, so we've got this all analyzed up here. We're going to start off and do some adjustments in the thoracic spine. Then we'll do some side posture. And after that, we're going to look at your neck, and then we'll do a decompression, okay? Sounds good. We'll start with this one right here. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Letting the shoulders sink in here. Good. That was a good crack. <laughs> Ooh, that was a really good one. Yeah. Good. Here. Good. Let that out. Let the shoulders sink as you breathe out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got much better tone. Decrease in the hypertonicity of the muscles. A little stretch here of the spinal cord. Okay, that's good. Now this is this is proprioceptive work because you're on the blocks, and we use the vibration to stimulate efferentation. So 
We're just like bombarding your brain right now with signals of, of this is the position. Your hip should be in this position like this. So this rotation of the hips is uh, we're trying to create new muscle memory here. So the SI joints are places where the SI joints are filled with proprioceptive fibers. Tons of proprioception happening there. Upper cervical, SI joints, ankles is where the most proprioception is. For those of you at home, proprioception is your body's awareness of itself. Very important. We don't have to think about it ever, but a large portion of the brain's energy is actually devoted towards proprioception. So we just come down with the feet too. Fire off those proprioception fibers. All right, so I'm gonna adjust your lumbar first because I wanna feel the difference between the lumbar and the sacrum adjustments. Take a deep breath in, put it out. Good. Sinking in hips and shoulders, relaxing. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay, on your back. Did you feel how like, specific it was? Yes. So right underneath my hands, like almost like exactly how I positioned it and described it. Yep. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what it says first. Okay, we're gonna take a deep breath in here and good end out. Good, we're gonna bring this guy down just a little bit. Let the shoulders come up like in this position. Good, now let it all sink. Good. Lean your back. Now, can you crack your own back? Sometimes. Like when I'm driving for a long time, getting okay. like cracked lower a little bit. It probably doesn't feel like that though. No, not even close. Okay. Okay. Have a little push in that direction, like that. Good shoulders relaxing. Good. <laughs> that was real good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was a real, <laughs> yeah. It cracked all the way up. <laughs> Dude, that was a really good one. <laughs> all right. An organ valve release here. We'll start the ileocecal valve, belly button, ASIS. Good. How's the digestion? Good. No issues? No heartburn indigestion? I've had a weird little bit of heartburn the last couple days, but for the most part, no. Okay. Good. Pyloric sphincter's in good shape there. Good. Very nice. Good job, Matt. This is gonna be tight, okay? Yep. All you have to do is breathe, and just like the other adjustments, as you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath, and then we give a little pull at the end, and just let everything sink in. Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay, yeah, that was good. Uh -huh. That was good. Breathe it out. That was real good. Now, was there a crack at the bottom there? Yes. Yeah, there was one yeah. more. It was an actual little crack down there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that was the long lost crack. It, it that's what it felt like. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a very deep crack. <laughs> All right, let's see. Stand up, take it for a test drive. And do. Still feels a, still feels a little sore on that last, that last one where we, that last crack felt. Mm -hmm. 
but it feels like that good sore, like after a really good workout where you're like, oh, I just hit that spot that I wanted to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. All right, push your elbow back against my hand. Okay, push, push. Okay, push, push, push. Good, almost there. Push a little harder. Okay, right, that's good. Okay, right side here, push. Good, push, push, push. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Good, look up at the ceiling. Good, we're gonna high left shoulder. We're gonna bring that down. High left ear, bring that down. Right atlas there. Good, lower left cervical down the spine. Lower five, sacrum. Good, head up, shoulders relax. All right, Sarah, is there anything else I can look at and work on for you? I think that covers everything. Yeah. Feeling cracked all the way. <laughs> Thank you so much. much. I appreciate your help. Yeah, you're going to go great after this.